Today, our video is about distance and which driver in the Second Swing Minnetonka Tour Fan location can give Jackie the most distance. Golfers, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you give us a like as well. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Maholder, Second Swing Golf, and today I'm joined by Jackie Johnson, Master Club Fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka. And today we've got a fun, kind of a challenge here. Um, which driver in the store, uh, which driver setup I should say, because you have a different, couple of different club heads, but even more shafts here avail available to us, but which driver can give you the most distance? So Jackie, I'm just gonna kind of let you kick it off here and explain what items you have here. I see a couple different club heads and a couple different golf shafts too. Yeah, so I've hit, plenty of drivers within yeah. second swing. So I kind of know my game a little bit and, and what I hit well. Uh, you know, a lot of people would say, well, why don't you try, you know, this or that? Yeah. And the reason why I'm picking when I'm picking is just because of I've hit everything. So I kind of yeah. know what I hit well and what I like the feel of. So I'm more confident with. So I have the Sim 2 uh, 10 and a half degree. Kay. So it's not the max, it's the the Sim 2, just because it's a little bit lower spinning, mm -hmm. uh, but still have that 10 and a half degree because obviously with the lower spin, I want to still be able to get some launch out of it. Uh, but then I have the TSI 1 and the TS1. So I'm going to kind of see if which one pans out a little bit here. Uh, the TS1 has a regular air speeder shaft. TSI 1 has uh, the new uh, Ascent, so, mm -hmm. but it's stiff. Okay. But it's, they're both 40 grams. So really lightweight. Okay. Uh, in the TaylorMade Sim, I have, or sorry, the TaylorMade Sim 2. Yeah. I have the AutoFlex, which we'll talk about a little bit more yeah. in depth, and then the Vintus uh, 5R with the Valicor technology in it. Yeah. So two upgraded shafts within the Sim 2. Right. Uh, just because we're going to kind of see what that level of upgrade can bring to a yeah. driver. Yeah, I know. And so I, I know you've talked about in past videos, like the Callaway and paying you well, great drivers, you just haven't yeah. hit them well, and it could be a mental thing for you. I love the feel. Uh, uh, yeah, I love the feel of ping, but as I've tested them, I've just always pulled them left and just haven't been yeah. as consistent as these uh, Titleists and mm -hmm. TaylorMade. And then Callaway, for whatever reason, I just can't hit Callaways. So, so we've got TaylorMade Sim <laughs> 2, and we've got Titleist TSI 1 and yep. TS1, both here. Um, so now kind of give us, um, is there a prediction that you have for this? I mean, basically what we're trying to do, because this isn't a, something you've tried before. You've, you've got your gamer and you've been yeah. fit, but you really haven't gone for, okay, let's find the setup that gives me the most distance and distance only. So well, what do you think we'll see here? I mean, I grab shafts that I know that I'm going to be able to swing faster than I normally do, just yeah. because uh, like the airspeeder in the TSI, or, sorry, the TS1 and then the TSI1 and the Ascent, there are longer shafts, so I'm going to get a little bit more club head speed okay. already. I already know that, plus they're 40 grams, uh, but it's going to be about the other numbers, like the spin, the launch, yep. uh, ball speed that I'm going to be able to make solid contact with. The nice thing is, is throughout when we, we're doing this, can there be some adjustments I make to the you know, Titleist models right. that would be uh, a better fit? And then when you're talking about the Sim 2, uh, there's different things we can do with that one too. Put it a little bit more upright if I need to. Uh, yep. Try to draw the ball a little bit more to get that distance. And the auto flex shaft is just an interesting. There's a lot of buzz about it, you know. Uh, the the way it's constructed, adding some more swing speed, and and the way it's kind of weighted and, and pointed in there. So that's yeah. an interesting one. The the range for this auto flex is 85 to 95 miles an hour, and the theory is no matter how fast you swing or how little you swing within that mile an hour range, it should go virtually the same distance. So the interesting thing will be if I try to get after it and it's super lightweight, I mean, yeah, feel this. I mean, it's, yeah, like, it's like a feather. <laughs> yeah, it's like nothing. So it'll be interesting to see if my club head speed does increase, but also like what happens to my yeah. uh, you know, consistency. Because we know that like my driver is pretty consistent and I hit a lot of fairways already, but this is about just pure distance yeah. Can I get a little bit more with, you know, some other shafts? Right, exactly. That's kind of the next part of driver fittings that, you know, if you're really trying to chase distance, that's where you kind of go to the right golf shaft and that can really optimize that for you. But all right, it's kind of a mini long drive contest within yeah. yourself here. So you ready to get going here? Yeah, let's go. 
Nope. That was a miss hit. An extra spin there. Is that a little low on the face? Yeah. Low okay. heel. What face. are we looking at usually for your like club speed? I'd like to get it to like 91. Okay. Ball speed around 133. Okay. That one was just not good. Oh, that's a lot better. There we go. All right. Okay. That's going to be that, That's that. kind of what I expected there. I mean, low spin, not not too bad in height. Launch and another sneaky good. way to kind of gain that distance too is turn that thing over a little bit with yep. some less spin to roll that thing out. For sure. Ah, uh, that was a miss hit. If it's off the toe, it could work though. Yeah. It's a good tee shot. <laughs> it's just distance wise a little bit behind. All right, here we go. So I'm also trying to increase my attack angle. You can see I'm at 5.4, normally I'm at yeah. three. Okay. So oh. It's another way to gain distance. Yeah, but with that means like, you know, if I'm increasing my attack angle, do I need to lower the loft, right? Because yeah. the more I increase it. Right, that's what I know Thomas has struggled with that last yeah. year. He was hitting like an eight degree driver because his attack angle was so high. Yeah. Ah, uh, that was bad too. Ah. Uh, well, that's a good ball. Yeah, I mean, I'd take that. I mean, so the Ventus Red is pretty lightweight, but the Valacor technology in it is supposed to keep your miss hits online more. Yeah. You know, that's I why. I think you can see that here. Yeah. That could be good. It's going to be left, but it could be far. Okay. So how's that, I mean, how's that, the, the Ventus feel right now? I mean, compared to, like, say, your gamer or... You know something else you've tested is there anything kind of different or unique about it um i mean i can feel the stiffness in the tip okay uh yeah i don't know i'm just not really swinging it as fast as i want to okay so i feel like we got to go to something maybe a little bit lighter okay to get that club head speed up because right. i i'm not gonna be able to get you know more than 240 with how f fast i'm swinging it right now okay so what are we going to go to here then well, we're gonna go to the auto flex. All right. So I'm gonna try. Uh, so I have this, the Sim Two in the auto flex, and I have this uh, upright. As you have well. an upright, okay. Yep. So and then for the record, well, one to beat right now, 245.0 with the Sim Two Ventus 5R. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. That one was good. I forgot about that one. So. Okay. You had some good rollout on that one. Yeah. I'm curious to see how much the swing speed increases on that. Yep. I think that's the highest swing speed so far. Just some extra spin on that tee shot, but. Yeah. The ball speed and the club speed are a little bit higher than the, than the last one. Yeah, I just gotta, so with this, I gotta try and draw it because it is so light. Yeah. That it's like the club head it's is. It's one of those two. You're kind of just, one of these swings, you're just hoping everything matches up the right way. Yeah. I was going to say, that one's going to be pretty close. good. Ooh, that's close. I just need I a little bit lower spin. You have, a, I mean, the last one you hit, the one you hit 245 had like 1,700 spin. All right. So something like that with lower spin would be I'm going to try to hit more up on this, even though 5.6 is pretty high for me. Be good. Oh, she's calling it to be ah. good. Oh, so close. Yeah, that felt It is good. right, it's right there. I think ball might have a little factor in this, but we can test something. We can test that out here after we figure out what head works, too. But yeah, the club head speed and ball speed is definitely up right now. That could be good, too. Low Jeez. On, it, that was low on the face. Low on the face? Yeah. Well, you've been very consistently just, just above 90 club speed, and ball speed's been right around 133 for each of these. Yeah. These two um, shots with the, with the I think auto I, I feel like I'm hitting it um like low on the face okay which i probably am because my attack angle is so high so let me try and let's uh tee actually, it up you know a what? Bit. we're gonna we're gonna find out exactly what the impact location is here yeah, yeah. So, so i think average, i need to tee it up a little bit higher on average you're a little bit low on the club face so yeah i'm gonna try to tee it up a little bit higher that's the highest ball speed that's gonna be left but 
All right, we have a new far, we have a new high for distance, two forty eight. All right, let me try another How one. How many here. different hacks you want to take on this uh, setup here? One. I'm gonna do one more here. Try to. Oh, he swung at that one. Ah, too high on the face that time. But I mean, it's a good ball though. Yeah. What so do we have? I did want to bring this up because we definitely gained club speed, and every single one of them was over 90 miles an hour. Yeah. And then everything single one with the Ventus 5R was under 90 miles an hour. Yeah. So something to note there. And then, of course, the big one here was that getting that spin lower, 149 smash factor. Well, look at my, I mean, look at my attack angle. It was 7.2. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So, yeah, that one's pretty good. It's going to mm -hmm. be tough to beat that. Yeah. And I just, just for the sake of the visual, too, we'll bring up the map here. Nah, not bad for and me so, just trying to swing as hard as I can. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And that's the thing too. We're made to, we should note that again. This is not about trying to control it and yeah. hit it straight. This is just swinging hard here. So, um, all right. Do we want to try any more with that setup? Because that it seemed like the game more. Let's speed go. There. Let's go one more here. Okay. Gonna, one more good one with that setup. I'm gonna try to get to that 7.2 attack angle and a little straighter. Now that's gonna be good, but that's the highest uh, swing speed. It's right. a good shot too. Okay. One more. One more. One more. It's, <laughs> one more. It's, it's fun. You're right on the, you know. The brink. You're right on the brink of something over 250 here. That might be it. That's going to be left, but. Uh, oh, nope. Just a little too much spin. Interesting. All right. Let's try the, the Titleist. Okay. So we'll go Titleist. Uh, let's go to TSI 1 here with the Ascent. Yep. So we got the Ascent and uh, 9 degree head. So. Um, I already know I'm going to get probably a little bit more ball speed because of the 9 degree head. So the less locked you have, the more yeah. ball speed in theory you're going to have. Yes. But I think the, the concern here would be just getting it, make sure it gets high enough too. Yeah, and that's why they put the 40 gram mm -hmm. in here. So I should get some launch still, so I shouldn't sacrifice too much. That's a good ball. Wow, good start. Yeah. Highest club speed again. Uh, Pretty similar shots. This is definitely a lower ball flight, though, and you can tell by the loft, like, you know, that that, yeah. the effect that it's I having. I hit low on the face there. I'm going to tee it up a little bit. It's very odd to tee it up so high. I'm not used to, <laughs> not used to that. Not many times are you going Trying for only to, distance. Yeah. That one could be really good. Ah! So how about this setup in terms of the look of the head and then the shaft compared to like the past couple that you've hit? What did, how does this one feel? Like compared to the sim too? Yeah, compared to the sim 2 club head, but also the autoflex shaft. I'm curious about that because the autoflex oh, shaft, it does feel like a feather. It's light. Yeah, this is pretty light too. I'd say they're very similar. I, I don't know. Like I feel like I can swing this just as fast as the autoflex. Yeah. Ooh, that is left. <laughs> yep. Hit it off the heel, but. Did go kind of far, though. <laughs> yeah. How about the feel at impact? TSI 1 versus. It's good. I, I like the TSI 1. Yeah. Um, yeah, it feels good. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is the highest ball speed by a long ways today. Oh! And, well, it's the hi new highest distance, but it's not 250. But that's 137, that's pretty good. Definitely the highest ball speed of the day. Yeah. So now this setup, TSI 1. Ascent 40 gram stiff shaft is the new leader in the clubhouse. All right, I gotta try to get to 250 now. Yeah, you do. It's right there. Oh, Another that's gonna good be one. good, but. It's gonna be about the spin. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, if you're able to knock that spin down to like 2000, you're gonna be. Well, I think, it out. I mean, the Pro V1X is what I'm hitting because we have the. Uh, the RCT. Yeah. So I think we could, I could test a ball with both of these. I mean, they're so close. Right. So it'd be interesting to see if I can get a lower spinning ball that would go that much farther That's true. too. Um, I don't even think TS1. I don't think is going to beat this. The ball speed. Did you new, want to try the speeder shaft in that club head? Can yeah. We can try that just to see if it changed anything. I know you were. This is this would be a regular flex 40 gram shaft, which yeah. would in theory help maybe generate that more. Uh, Hit maybe, the center maybe of the Maybe some face, more maybe launch, more. but. Probably also has more spin, which I know you're trying to lower spin here, but we'll try it just to see what happens. Hit it well. 
Just some more spin there, looks like. Yeah, I think. That, I mean, that, so that that's, was my concern going to this one, but I just figured we'd yeah, have it here. That's Maybe the, give it a couple more swings and we'll see, but. Ooh, it's, it's getting close. Yep, my attack angle's a little bit better there, so my spin rate went down. Ah. This is definitely launching higher. You're hitting this 100 feet in the air. Yeah. Yeah, the carry distance on this is pretty good. It's a good one. Ooh, that's close. You're just sniffing 250 here. It's very All right, here we go. Right I'm gonna there. I'm going to swing hard, and hopefully I don't get hurt. <laughs> Oh, that was some extra speed. It is left, but we'll see. Oh. <laughs> a little too much. A little too much hook it. Too much uh, top spin on it. Yeah, too much hooking. Oh, that's a good poke if it spins right. Oh, yeah. just too high spin. Yeah, so I think um, when you're talking about like the TSI 1, I've noticed with like a lot of fittings I've done, it's been a really, really, really good option for someone that needs more distance. Yeah. But because of the weight, I think that's why the stiff is just maybe a little bit better mm -hmm. in this scenario. Not that I fit, you know, when you talk about flex, right? That's where this like is way different because if you go down in weight, it's initially going to be, you know, lighter and yeah. you're, you're gonna be, the control is gonna be the problem. So right. if you're going to go lighter, it's not a bad idea to kind of go up a step in flex just because, yeah. like with this, I feel like I can't control it as much as Right, I mean, step. that club is built for somebody with less speed than you. Yeah. Um, and this is just for the sake of how far can you hit it. Yeah. But um, generally, someone with less speed than you is going to be hitting a TSI 1. Now, this isn't to say it can't fit somebody with a faster swing. And I, if I remember correctly, the number one player in the world on the women's side, Nelly Korda, yeah. playing a TSI 1, Obviously, a yeah. different shaft than that. So it it does depend on the player. It's all player dependent. So that I mean, Tyler's built those clubs with in mind for the player that needs more speed, needs more launch. But of course, Nelly Corda isn't one of those necessarily. It just happens to fit what she's looking for in her game right now. No, the club head itself, the TSI one, is I think very underrated. Yeah. Because uh, you know, TSI two is probably the most popular, and TSI three too. Yeah. But TSI one is definitely if you want speed, the aerodynamics in the head allow for that. Mm -hmm. So you're going to get more speed from this head than you're going to get from a lot of the other models uh, just because of, of that. Yeah. So mm -hmm. now I wanted to bring up the map here. So we've got this one is the farthest of the day. It was the TSI one with the ascent shaft 249.2 yards. Carried 223. 137 ball speed yeah. was, and I know you had mentioned Kind of what one little over 130 was kind of your your normal range so yep. you were kind of thinking somewhere i know you had mentioned initially mentioned 133 was kind of the ball speed you were looking to get to today 137 there you also had a couple over here the auto flex that this was 248 and then uh with the speeder shaft tsi one you got the 247 with that one and the longest with the sim 2 ventus 5r it's 245 so each club had one 245 or longer yeah uh, yeah, so I, I think we're on to something here. It'd be interesting to see. Let's try a lower spinning ball with both. All right, both. so now you, you use the, the setup, you hit the longest here. So go with the TSI 1 Ascent. We'll see if maybe a Pro V1. We'll just see. A couple of swings. See if it can get that 250 mark here. All right, so in an effort to lower spin. Oh, God. That's so close. We're getting close. We've got the, is that the Vice Pro Ball? Yep. Okay. That did lower spin there. Look at that. Off the toe. That could work though. Ooh. Uh, this might have to be the new setup, Jackie. Those were two just nukes that were dead straight. Yeah, good. Ah. Uh, I mean, it's gonna be. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, little gear effect on that one. A little off the toe, and it kind of straightened it out. Yeah. There you Look go. Two fifty-four. Two fifty-four. All right. I don't know if I can beat two that. Two more hacks at it. Okay. Oh, that, that one's gonna be, be really good. good. That's. Oh yeah. Another one. <laughs> oh. Ah, you're 
That is, you hit putting together some really good golf swings right Woo! here. 259, oh, there we go. Goodness sakes, 259. So, okay, I want to bring this up and just show on the map, <laughs> look at how much farther that is. Yeah, so. I did not expect that at all, honestly. Yeah, I didn't expect it to be that good. That was um, nuts. So this, it goes back to the ball fitting that we did. Well, not really ball fitting, but the test we did. Um, the reason why I went with the Vice Pro is just because it was the best ball that I hit very consistently in another video. Yeah. Uh, so that's why I picked it out. And like, you can see, like, I'm hitting fairways and hitting it far, far, right. far. I mean, it was the smallest dispersion too. That's the craziest part. Yeah. So you're, you're, you're still swinging for the fences and you hit every ball in the fairway there. Yeah. That's crazy. I didn't expect that to be the, such a good result, but that was cool. Cause it also shows the impact of ball fitting too. I know this isn't a ball fitting video, but yeah. it does show like, how much a different golf ball can impact your game. You just gained 10 yards yeah. off the tee, essentially, with, by switching to a lower spinning golf ball. So, God, that's crazy. I, uh, that was cool. That was a cool test, Jackie. That yeah. was a lot of fun. Uh, so for you, the, in this instance, the title is TSI-1 Ascent Shaft. Uh, it was a nine degree head? Yep. Nine degree head, and then actually you went to a low spinning ball, the Vice Pro, and you gained, what, 20 yards? I mean, yeah. it, a lot of distance, so that was cool. Uh, so golfers, that's a little indication of if you are a player, I don't know, somebody you're going for ultimate distance that you can get. Second swing, we can set you up with something. Jackie just did that for herself and found a bunch of distance. So maybe you're a person that can also gain 20 yards off the tee. Come in and talk to Jackie and schedule a fitting and you can hit some bombs like you just saw here. Jackie, thanks for joining and showing us how it's done. Yeah, thanks for having me.